what voodoo is this? I can confirm this is not center stage on the iPad Pro. So uh, what is it? Let's get into it. So right before we get this unboxed guys, do me a massive favor. Uh, smash that like button for me. It really, really helps me on the channel and I really appreciate it. And if you hit that like button, I'll give you an internet cookie. And also, if you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button. It massively helps me out, helps me get my videos out into the ether. And if you want to see more content like this as well, hit that little bell button as well. This is the secret. This is the Osbot Me, the uh, AI powered selfie phone mount. So, reading on the box here, it says uh, no app required, AI tracking, Ooh. gesture control, quick pick, and a foldable design. Hmm. Funky, funky. So, in inclusion, we have Osbot Me, USB Type C cable, tripod, ball joint pick, user manual, and a warning card. Let me catch you. Catch me outside, bruh. So what we have here, we have user manual. warranty card so there we have the it's like a leather type case it's quite nice mm, it's very nice actually at least you've got a bit of protection there mm. there we go so we've got our USB-C cable We've got the mount itself, and then we've got our little sort of tripod slash handle slash gimbal thing. So pretty straightforward. Obviously no charging brick with it, but let's be honest, in this day and age now, if you don't have a USB-C charger, who are you? Who are you? So. Hopefully there's some charging. Hopefully I won't need to need the cable. Looking at it, the, um, the quality is very, very good. As you can see there, it says Oz bought me on the side. And we obviously have then the, the big lens and then the power button on the front. And then if we pack that up, like that, then we have our USB-C port in the back and then we have our screw hole for the tripod or gimbal or you know if you want to put it onto your own tripod or whatever you know you've got that option which is pretty cool look at that funky okay. Let's see if we can get a phone set up on it. So I've got my iPhone here. So I'm gonna set that up and up. up. The mount actually looks quite small and I've got a Pro Max, so hopefully it'll fit. Ah oh, look at that. Fits no baller. Lovely. Look at that. So we can go portrait and we can go landscape. It's pretty good. And I have my Pixel 4XL. So it's this is smaller than the iPhone, so that'll fit perfectly as well. Look at that. Lovely. I must say now the mechanism on it is very, very good. It's very, very smooth. A good grip on it as well. It's pretty good. So as you can see, I've got it all set up and 
turned on and blah blah blah. So I'll go through the setup and the workings of it. Basically there's, there's no app for this, it doesn't work through Bluetooth, it's all built into the unit itself. There's a big lens on the front of it, which if I turn that round, you can see. So, and that is the lens, the camera that focuses, attracts you for it to rotate. So you can control it one of two ways. You can control it with the power button on the front. So as you can see, it's lit up green, this green ring that's around the unit. Because it's lit up green, it can that's it locked. So the, the unit is locked, so it will not move. So as you can see, if I move, it's not gonna move. So if I then hit the green button on the front, it will then turn blue. Once it turns blue, it's locked onto you, which means wherever you move, it's gonna follow. So as you can see, it is following me round the room. I've got my own stalker. How cool is that? It's so cool. And then to lock it in place, you can just hit the green button and that's it locked. So as you can see, it's not gonna move. The other cool feature that this thing has is that if you have it on a tripod, and it's a bit difficult to sort of get the shot right and then go over, hit the button, come back, have everything work. So the best thing to do is use the gestures that's built into the system. So what you do is when it's lit up green, you hold your hand up, you'll see it flashes, it'll go blue, and that's it. It uses your hand gesture to kick in, which is pretty good. If you're going to use it on a tripod and you're a fair distance away from it, that's a really, really good feature to have, so it means that you're not stuck and you're not locked to having to run over or get somebody else to push it for you. You can just put your hand up and boom, there you go, and that's locked in place again. That is awesome. That's so cool. I really like that. I've been playing about this for a while and it's really, really cool. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. It's such a cool wee thing to have. Look at that. How? <laughs> so cool. So, I just thought I'd do a wee quick setup outside just to see how the lens reacts to outside and make sure that it's still as responsive and all that sort of stuff. So, here we are. I have it set up on my tripod. Uh, just to show you the different sort of setup. And um, there's my phone. And as you can see, I've swapped the handle of the Osbot on the camera. <laughs> so, just goes to show you these generic mounts, so you can just put them on them, which is great. So, here we go. As you can see, it's green, so it's locked, oh, it's locked which means it's not going to move. So, I'll just try the gestures. So, I put my hand up. It's maybe not going to read me because I'm holding the camera. Oh, no, there it is. There we go, blue. So it's locked onto me. So let's see how far I can go. Okay, it's all the way back. That's pretty good. That's about 20, 20 feet, maybe. Hello, buddy. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? You following me? So let's just see how much distance this thing can go. So it's still blue. It's locked onto me there at the moment. So let me see if I hold my hand up. There we go. It's green. Now, as you can see, I've locked it from all the way over here. And there we go, blue again. As you can see, now it's following us. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty, pretty good, seeing as it's pretty much in direct light as you can see um, no sun right enough but uh, it's in pretty direct light and I can still register me from that far away that's pretty good 
like I say, this is compatible with any phone. So I've got my iPhone in it at the minute. Uh, I'm going to take my Pixel for a ride with it as well, and you know, get some get some good shots with it. So it's really really cool. If you want to do some videos, you know, if you want to do some maybe wide videos where you're going from maybe side to side and things like that, there, this is great for this. If you're into TikTok or Instagram or any of those things that all the cool kids are into, uh, you'll you'll love this thing. This thing is so cool. Um, it's very very well made. It's very very sturdy, and it ticks all the boxes for me. It's well built. Comes with a very very good stand. It comes with a good case, and charges the USB C. Yay! Yeah, well, what's not to love? It's a great little thing to have. Um, I picked this up on Kickstarter for. I think it worked out by the time it was con converted and into pounds and all that sort of stuff. I think this worked out about sixty nine pound. Um, which which is okay, it's not bad. Now, granted, I had to wait nearly two months for it to arrive, but once it arrived, it didn't disappoint. So, I mean, it, it's it's an option out there, it really is, if you're looking for something to, to capture those uh, special video shots or that sort of thing, this is definitely one of the things to pick up. Even if you're just at home and you want to do some FaceTime calls or something, um, it's, it's a great thing to have. I mean, yeah, look at that. What's that? <laughs> so cool. I feel I feel like all professional here. Look, I'm going from like one camera to another camera, back to this camera, back to this camera, back to this camera. Here I can read the news. That just about covers it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I I picked up this little accessory. It's a cool wee bit of tech. I thought I would do an unboxing and a and a recap of it. Um, it's pretty cool. It's not overly expensive considering some of the things out there. So uh, it might be worth picking up if you're into that kind of thing. So if you like it, smash the like button there for me guys. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you got one of these, what would you use it for? Would you be using it for video calls? Would you be using it for TikTok? Instagram? Any of that jazz? Let me know down below. Yeah, I'll catch us in the next one. Cheers, guys.